I already went for the jaw, broke that. Now I was going for the orbitals. And I would have severely hurt him to where he would have had to rethink his career. The ending sequence, right before this, this punch, I threw a two, three, and I missed him. I was just off by an inch. So mentally, I had to make the adjustment. I'm like, you're throwing two punches and you're just missing him. Stop throwing two, throw three. And you see it. I fake one, two, and the third one. Bing, I finally hit him, knock him off balance. So I get close to him again. And I knew he's gonna throw back because he's trying to get me off him. And in my mind, I'm thinking so fast, I'm just reacting at this point because I've got him down. And he thinks I'm gonna... I, I throw, I throw, I hit him with the three punch. Woof, woof, bing. And now he's gonna throw to get me off. Slip, body shot. And he thinks I'm gonna do it again. No, left hook, bing. He's like, oh, sh he has no idea where they're coming from now. He tries to regroup, stiff jab, bing. I hit him again. Now he's just trying to get me off him, and he can't. I walk him down, I fake down, left foot, bing, he doesn't see it coming. He's stumbling all around. But now I'm in kill mode, I'm in kill mode. Right hand, bing, right into the jaw. I know it hurt him, so he's trying to get away. But no, I'm too close, I smother the shot. But left hook in the top of the head. He's walking back, he's gonna try to get me off of him, so he's gonna throw that left hand. Because it's landed a couple of times before. But at this point, I'm just a tank rolling downhill and he's in trouble. So we both, he throws his left hand, I throw my left hand, we both throw it, but he doesn't realize that I've got a javelin coming at his face right after that. I step back, right hand, beam, drop him. He's wondering what happened, what happened. Now I get a little overzealous and I go, try to go for the finish. And I try to go for the finish to where I let him roll up, but then I'm like, settle down, regroup. I let him throw that left hand again, step back, straight right hand, right on the neck, drops him again. Now he's trying to survive, he's holding on for dear life. And this is the thing is, the referee is in there to protect you from yourself. Because a hard-headed, well-conditioned athlete like that, you're gonna always wanna stay in and compete. And it's the referee's job to save you from taking years off of your life. And that's what would happen. Had the referee let that continue, I'm already a tank rolling downhill now. I'm an unstoppable tank. And I would have just broke his face every way. I already went for the jaw, broke that. And I was going for the orbitals. And I would have severely hurt him to where he would have had to rethink his career. Then he stands up to protest. You see his face when he stood up. Nah, buddy, fight's over.